Okay, so this is going to be the depression and anxiety vlog. Um, forewarning, it's going to be, uh, it's not going to be very positive. Um, usually I focus on speaking and, and delivering a positive, uh, a positive message to help overcome, you know, addiction and depression and anxiety and just, you know, all, all, all general misfortune and sadness and everything. But, but, um, I'm here today to let you know that um, focusing on the positive and power of positivity <laughs> has uh, pretty much failed me, or I have failed it, or something. Um, I know a lot of people probably wondered what happened to me, you know, when I, when I left, and then like I moved away, and then I moved back, and you know, um, stopped making vlogs, and shaved my head, and everything like that. You know, I was going through a lot of crap. A lot of stuff, and I, when I was going through that stuff, I could no longer focus on the positive. It was like there wasn't a positive, and the positive that was there was just uh, meaningless to me. Um, the light at the end of the tunnel that I did see was just a light of a light, of a, the, a light at the beginning of another tunnel. You see what I mean? Um, but anyway, I don't really know exactly what I'm. I, don't, I didn't plan up this video, I didn't plan what I'm going to say, I just, today, after finding out that my Doc Martens had been stolen um, right from out, right out from under my nose by a supposed friend, um, you know, it just, it just set me over the edge, and I just, I was just like, you know what, I don't know why, but I, mean, I, I feel compelled to make a vlog, I guess maybe because some of you give comments and support that makes me feel better sometimes. I guess that's why a lot of people vlog. I don't know. Um, I know I expect, I expect plenty of, of hate comments as I, as I get them a lot, but um, I'm hoping for some positive ones. Um, when I shaved my head, <laughs> it was basically a haircut gone wrong. I was trying to go for some, like, Yolandi slash Elvira thing with my hair. I had gotten married. I was trying something different. I was like, well, you know, I'm gonna be with my with this with this guy for the rest of my life. So, you know what I got to lose? Yeah, and I shaved it. And when I realized how much how unflattering uh, a shaved head and short hair is um, on me, I became very depressed. Um, extremely, really, extremely depressed, and as far as I was concerned, now that I didn't um, have my beauty to to be my foundation for happiness, um, I could no longer see the positive, and I and I felt like a fool forever preaching such a strong or what I thought was such a strong message to people, because right now power positivity is not working for me at all. Um, I am, however, really sick of being depressed. I'm sick of sleeping all day. I'm sick of not working. I'm sick of, of struggling with addiction. I'm sick of all of it. Sick of it all. And I'm not ready to, um, to change that. I, I, my, uh, my retainer, I wear my retainer I wore my retainer like every night. Finally broke. I had it since like, 1994, <laughs> and it finally broke. So now, like, it's like splitting in the middle. And I also, um, so so yeah. Eventually, I may have crooked teeth, which that sucks. I don't have any money or or anything to um, to buy a new retainer or get it repaired. And I've been struggling with anxiety and depression, and and uh, on top of that laziness, I guess, and just and discouragement that I haven't worked, I haven't got a job, I haven't done anything. I'm barely making it on my disability checks, which are only like four hundred dollars a month because my dumbass got married. So I guess it's just a vlog to like vent and complain and let you guys know that um, where I went is I went into a deep, dark hole. Not so hot. <laughs> I went into a dark place. And I'm still in that dark place, but I'm trying to climb out. And it's very, very tough. It's very hard. I cry every day.
So now I'm going to have, I have no hair, I have no tits, I have no vajoo, <laughs> I have no Doc Martens. I'm going to have crooked teeth, no retainer, no car, barely any money. Don't have a kid at all. It's really hard, you guys. I'm going to let you see me like this. I'm going to let you all see me like this. This is how I am every day. And this is why I'm not around. My fucking dumbass even shaved off my eyebrows. Look how fucking stupid that is. They're drawn on. I can't, I can't, if even when I want to dance, it's a fucking pain in the ass because they sweat off. <laughs> and I'm in South Texas. So. What a wise decision. Well, fucking. Foolish former wise men. <laughs> Now I just feel like a fool all the time. Okay. Um. My anxiety is through the roof because um, my internet life highly integrated with my real life and still does. Um, I don't really have much of an internet life anymore. I pretty much use the internet like a normal, like an average person would. You know, I, I don't. I don't get in there and chat, and like under, under, underground chats, I don't go to 4chan, I don't do porn sites, I just Google things, and I use my Facebook, and I listen to music. The rest of the time, it's all real life stuff, and and now it's like, it's like people, and, and I, I also, just by the way, you know, people just call me schizophrenic, I've been diagnosed with it and everything, but I don't believe that that's what it is, because um, half the time, half the time that I am certain that, you know, people are trying to fuck with me, it's like, it's like, um, they say things, they just say things that are really mean without directly being mean to me, and it's really hard to explain, but when I do explain it, some people get it, most people don't, most people just think I'm crazy, and I think that's the point, is, is 